Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 28 of Going Old School. And in this one, we're going to start out by heading to Clovis, New Mexico. Let's get into it. And this is going to be a humdinger, folks. And by humdinger, you'll see why in a moment. But we unloaded here. Where is it at? Why is it not on here? Anyway, we unloaded somewhere on this loop. I don't know why it's not showing up right now, but I drove over here to Northwest Energy to pick up a load, and we're headed to Clovis, which means we need to come out of Northwest Energy. And I believe we could come over here. But since I haven't been on this road yet, may as well take that. So we're going to hang a right, take 338 loop north to 385 north, which will turn into 62. And then in Lubbock, take 84 north. And it appears that that is going to turn into 60. And then in Clovis, oh, this is going to be real fun to get into. So in Clovis, first left after gas station actually that's more like a truck stop but and then we're going to take our first right and then another first right into bnsf and hopefully we'll see signs for that all right so to review we're coming out of here taking 338 loop north to 385 north that turns into 62 and then we're going to pay attention for the 84 north that turns into 60 Oh, okay, so that'll probably be 6084. Okay, that's fine. Either way, once we pass this truck stop, first left at a major intersection, if we see this Walmart to our right, we've gone too far, obviously. But hopefully, we can fix it. Let's hope we don't get that far. So first left at this major intersection, US 70. I just noticed that. So first left after gas station, US 70 south perfect good thing i double checked that just to verify and then we're going to take our first right on us 70 and then first right into bnsf now let's get to this see how close i am to that fence let me pull this up so you can all see what i'm i guess it helps if i pull up the right stuff 66,000 pound cable reel, okay? Seems simple enough. I guess I could start the truck and warm it up. I guess I could also... I forgot to... zero out my odometer. Okay. Thank you, head position. Could you just, like, chill? Because I'm not moving my head. Alright, check this out. Why do I do this to myself? And just, if, if I get around this building unscathed, I still have to get around to get out of the damn parking lot and through that gate. So, my plan is is to basically hard right towards this lamp post right there to swing wide come around the building and then continue wide aim towards that little blue car there to come out the gate that way some people would think well just go straight and go on the outside part but that turn out of the gate's going to be up Biatch, if I do that. It may be that way anyway. So. Alright, let's stop procrastinating time and just do this shit. Alright, so let's go over here. This is going to be a hoot.
and I'm going to hug all of this stuff up here as well. It's a good thing I don't have my webcam. I probably look like a dork right now sitting up in my seat. Well, I look like a dork even when I'm not sitting in my seat or sitting up, but... Alright, I think we may have... Let's take a little look-see here. Man, that's still going to be... Alrighty. I can't hug this much more. Looks like we may be okay on that turn. A little closer than I'd like it. I shouldn't have stayed in this view. It always screws me up, so we'll just back up a little bit. Get around that post. Act like we're gonna hit this car. Then we're gonna check. All right, we're good there. So now we're gonna come back and act like we're gonna go in this garage right here. Act like we're gonna hit this generator. And then we're going to buzz this trailer. Check our mirror over there. And since I can't see it, all right, I believe we're good. Professional, folks. Now we get to get out of this. I really hate this intersection. Yeah, it's a good thing. I need to get one of these vehicles to stop. Otherwise, they're just going to keep on coming out. So, you just sit and chill. Thank you. You just sit and chill. How far am I into this? Oh, yeah. See, I need to... I need to take this whole road up. I'm wore out already. But honestly, that's why I loved the John Deere account when I was with TMC. It's shit like that that makes you think, right? It's just not your normal throwing straps over freaking lumber and having to fight with lumber tarps and all that shit. Yeah, it 
it's gonna be a while, so I'll just do my thing over here. Anyway, back to the oversized loads, hauling stuff for John Deere. I love the the variety of it. Yes, was there easy flatbed loads that you'd pull into Ankeny and you know, you're just throwing some straps over a, a plow, a chisel plow, or a cultivator or something like that that hasn't been put together. Yeah. But nothing made me happier than to pull into Ankeny with a flatbed and drop that damn thing and hook up to an RGN that had a sprayer or a cotton picker on it. That's mainly what came out of Ankeny. Harvesters came out of Moline, Illinois. So if you're hearing some different sounds, which I am, and I need to adjust the volume, so I need to look at that when I'm done recording. Can you hear the tires? If you can, if you hear that, that's a, uh, it's a mod I was sent that's in alpha, I guess. It works, but the individual is still very much working on it. But he basically sent it to me to play with and, and enjoy. Alright, what is this? This is what I need. Sorry, I don't know why that just flipped out. It's actually kind of good I was over there though, because I need all this room to make this turn. Yeah, and if said individual... watches this video and then messages me and said, hey man, you can you can talk about it. Well then I will. But I don't know if I can actually spill the beans, as it were, so
know if you guys can hear that, but I can. That's really cool. Hear that? Kind of like the humming, whistling of the tires. Oh, and if you look off to the right, another shit show logistics operation. sound different. And I'm not about drama or anything, so I'm not going to go into it, but if you, you play this game, you probably know. Uh, basically, bottom line is I'm not... His sounds are good. I feel like I needed to make a turn there. A385 turns into 62 north and Lubbock take 84 north. 84 turns into US 60. Okay, perfect. Yeah, bottom line is I'm, I'm done supporting him, so... I mean, sad part is I pretty much own every motor he makes. So he's already got my money in that aspect, but I won't be buying anything else from him. And shortly here, I won't be using any of those mods I bought. right there. Pure muscle memory. Do I have to do that in this game? Absolutely not. That was honestly pure muscle memory. See someone on the side of the road, move over if you can.
apparently need to do some more research on this wheelbase too because I turned off hand protection but it still wobbles like that when you take your hand off the wheel just not as fast so I don't I don't know maybe I had it set up wrong which is very possible My main concern, though, is for, like, uh, playing a set of Corsa. So, like, if you get in a wreck, um, you can let go of the wheel without having to bust your thumb. Alright, I need to pay attention here. So, we're in Lubbock. Take 84 north. says 84 so oh, we want west I said north but west So in Lubbock, take 84. We got that part, or are getting that part. And then 84 turns into 60. Well, 60, 84, right? Oh, really, dude? All right, now we're gonna have to really button up this. Look at that. I didn't even cross the white line over there in the turn lane. in a truck is not near as fun as getting lost on a motorcycle. Especially when you're in a truck and you're loaded. And honestly, kind of what, I, what I'm doing right now is nothing different than if you're running an oversized load in real life because you're permitted. You have a permitted route. So... You're either constantly looking at that sheet of paper that has your route on it, which isn't really easy to read, so I would typically write it down anyway on a notepad. kind of feel like I'm on the wrong damn road. I mean, we're headed 
west, so we're going in the right direction. I just don't know if it's... Okay, so we're leaving Lubbock. was progress and if it did say progress do I take that as a sign no pun intended up and holy crap don't take that turn that fast okay so we're on 7084 so in Clovis so I need US 70 south Welcome to New Mexico, New Mexico. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare and get in the left lane. Yes, I probably have a while, but we have 10 miles of Clovis. And I am long. So if any cars behind you have a problem with it, they can obviously go in the right lane. Because I do not want to make a last minute maneuver with this load. All right, there's Clovis. Here's the truck stop.
I like how this says Junction 70, but then that sign right there says straight ahead for 6084, but there's no sign that says 70, just as a... And there may not be in real life, I have no idea. Ooh, there's a case combine. this line. Nobody behind us at the moment. Check that to make sure nobody's behind us. Swing out here. No AI vehicles there. Perfect. Apologies for turning my head that far and then I screwed up my steering as well. Oh, I think I wanted the first right, didn't I? And I may have just messed that up. Yeah, I did. Okay. So hopefully, I didn't go too far ahead. Okay, I don't think I did. stop sign, hug this, check our mirror, we are golden, air sound too. Clovis number 43 gone. Is there anything else in New Mexico? Gallop across the state. Rotation. 
Zlatan. Been there, right? Yeah. Two can carry. Have not been there. Well, let's just do two long ones, huh? Plus, that's picking up out of here, so... Hot damn. Trailer is ready. Where it be? Right there. Eyes were playing tricks on me. I was like, is that face the other way? Like, how is that? And if anyone was wondering, the key to hooking up to these trailers like this is try and get your drive tires lined up with those tires on the trailer. Every time. get the air sound but your air wouldn't it doesn't make that sound when you hook up the trailer it's an alpha though so i'm not going to bitch and moan okay so we're gonna come back out of here and we're gonna hang a left at the light which is 6084 west One would assume that's 60, but we're taking 84 north, and then we want I-40 east. Look at me getting my directions right today. All right, first exit past rest area. Left at end of ramp, and then again, this isn't marked. I have no idea what major highway this is. Anyway, we're going first left, and then I don't know what... I'm not going to write anything down because I have no idea. So this is one, two, three, but there could be more. These are just right here. But if I go by this, one, two, three, four, fifth left. And we know how that works out. And if we pass BNSF, apparently we can hang it right there. So, or if we hit this ADM at the end of the, uh, end of the road, we'll know. All right, so everybody on the lead lap here, we're coming out of Clovis. We're hanging a left on 6084. Then we're going to hang a right on 84 up to I-40, I-40 east. First exit after the rest area. Hang a left at the end of the ramp. Fifth left into BNSF. Let's do it. Seems simple enough, huh? What is going on with the... Oh, there's a train over there. So the game is wigging out with the frames. I may pull that mod out too, that half mile long train thing. One less mod to run, one less thing to load up. And I honestly really don't care anymore about trains, so...
guess I could pull up the load info. I keep forgetting that, sorry. Hundred and eighteen thousand. Really? Hundred and eighteen thousand. Truck is probably twenty. Nineteen to twenty. We'll just say twenty. So that's a hundred and thirty eight thousand. And the trailer. So we're at 138,000. The trailer's steel. There's no way that's aluminum. The trailer probably weighs 30, 40,000 on its own. So we're pushing 160,000? 170? Almost be kind of nice to roll into a scale to see. But I guess that lift truck would have to be that heavy because it's lifting them big ass containers. All right. play traffic control here. I already had the range selector up to ready to go to I was pre anyway so I was in four low but I had my range selector up to go to five but I was gonna split fourth and go to four high that's why it wouldn't do it because my range selector was up Wow somebody took out the burger sign all right how are we doing here oh, that freaking bus Almost as if I've done this before. Alright, now we need 84 north. one from road to five million as a matter of fact oh crap I need to take the bend out of this and go please don't any cars come over this way I may still take out that pole I'm gonna have to head towards that car right there when this turns green.
Otherwise, I'm taking out that pole. And actually, since this game, it wouldn't knock over, I wouldn't be taking out the pole, the trailer would get stuck on it. Oh, see, that's just like real life. pinch that truck and then I'm going to do this number and I'm going to take up both these damn lanes and I'm probably going to have you no know, in real life though there would be cars that would come up on my right hand side even if I had my blinker on turning right there would be dumbasses that come up there Although, with this load, in real life, you would have escorts. Garen goddamn to you. However, when I was pulling RGNs and oversize, and would have to make a turn like this, there would be times that cars would... I've had cars jump the curb because they're like, oh, I can fit up there next to him. As I'm lit up like a shithouse in a fog storm with strobes on the back of the trailer, strobe on the truck, and then I've got a blinker on the back of the trailer, a blinker on the side of the trailer, blinker on the side of the truck, yeah, all flashing that I'm turning right, but they're like, oh. I'm just gonna level with you. People are freaking idiots, is really what it comes down to. People are freaking idiots, and the majority of them are just plain fucking dumb.
feel like this is where our 84 North is going to be. Does that say Junction 84? Look at me go. Alright, and I'm going to... Well, especially since there's a car there, so I'm going to do this number. Take up this whole damn thing. and then first exit past the rest area. I think we can handle that. Boy, I get some shitty fuel mileage, don't I? 3.9 miles a gallon. Look at this car. Just like real life. Oh. That was my fault because I wasn't paying attention. So let's just act like nothing happened there. I'm probably going to hit that car now though and get fined. Man, you're doing so good, Ty. No harm, no foul though. shifted. Oh, we're gonna get it? Awesome. area coming up here. Yep.
waiting. Now we just need the, f the next exit. that fifth left Historic Route 66. Historic Route 66. And they don't even label it on here. Okay. train tracks, I guess, and then we're going to have a left. So basically our next left.
right? What the hell am I doing? Okay, hold on. Oh, because I missed that turn. What? How the hell did I miss that? Wow, that'll be interesting in editing. Okay. I like how there's a BNS BNSF sign there. Or, oh, I bet you anything I know how I missed it. Because in true fashion, we probably just drove over what I thought was going to be a left on the map. That's why there was no sign before, and there was a sign here. Yeah, see, so now there's signs directing us to it. That's what it was. All right. What in the hell, head tracker? Yep, that's exactly what it was. So just when I thought I screwed up, I didn't. This small ass prefab with this long ass load, did you? They freaking did. Son of a bitch. Okay, this is a fun one. And by fun, I mean I'd rather stub my pinky toe on the nightstand. Concern is going to be that back never seems to want to track properly. Oh, may have got it. Hot damn. How straight is that? Well, we're, we're within the boundaries. For some reason, I started going to the right with the truck, but either way, we're in there. All right, so let me... Actually, I need to unload first. Forty-four. Two can carry. Gone. All right. It's been an hour and fifteen minutes almost already. So I'm just gonna hop in, check what time it is. All right. Four nineteen. All right. So I'm writing down sixteen nineteen, so I know what time to set the uh, clock for for the next episode. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 28 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. And until the next one, y'all take care.